obviously you guys are in a uh, happy relationship now. What? How did you? How did you get from egging her bakery to owning a bakery together and having five children? I used to be a lot like you, you know. I uh, went to school, I read the books, I voted for Obama twice, but then I, uh, I crossed paths with the walkway, quite literally. I love walking and just seeing the culture. It changed my life. I saw God, or what I can only describe as God. And we had passed each other on this sidewalk, and as we passed, we were carrying ingredients because we were in a rush. And when we collided, a cake magically appeared. It's not quite a mother. It's not quite a father. You ran into each other and a cake appeared? It was a miracle. The heat of the moment just baked that cake right in front of us. Uh, do you have any idea who could have put the walkway there? No. My name is Jeb Marion, and I've been following the artist for years, ever since I heard about his breakout project, The Walkway. The artist is not only a prodigy of his time, but also an incredibly well-hidden person, and only a few people know of his whereabouts. He never takes off his sunglasses and is almost always in all black. He has said in interviews that this is to protect his identity, as there have apparently been death threats made by many critics of his work. Popular critic Mandy Cosgrove claims in an article her work breaks the fundamental pillars of our society. It is an absolute embarrassment that we as the art community must be associated with these heinous installations. Regardless of the critics or the fans, the artist has become one of the most talked about contemporary artists of our time, and no one knows his true identity until today. Hello, this is I. Uh... Jeb Marion, and I wanted to know if there's anyone named Kelsey <laughs> that lives here. Yes. Uh, hello. Uh, thank you so much for answering. I, uh, I was wondering if you would do an interview. Uh, I know you might not. Oh. Okay, uh, thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll see you then. Oh, thank you so no. much. Just getting started on a new piece. It's done. Right. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for uh, agreeing with me. With me, do you care if I ask you a couple questions about my work? I've been focused on you and your uh, your pieces for quite some time. Of course. Sure. Uh, how would you when you first get an idea for a piece? How does your creative process begin? First, the artist told me about his tradition of drinking the clay water. Uh, he offered me some, but uh, I, I didn't really know about that. Next, he showed me where he fires his clay pieces, uh, heavier than I imagined. Then he showed me where his clay is made and uh, how he chooses the perfect piece to craft his works from. Uh, he says feel is very important. Then after discussing the piece a little bit more, he agreed to show me the sidewalk. And by the time we got there, I thought we even became friends.
When the artist unveiled this piece, people called it controversial, life-changing, revolutionary. I asked him if he believed society was ready for it. He told me, regardless of if they were ready, it happened, and it made them open their eyes. So, it was a spiritual change, changed my entire life. I sit in a dark room, no lights, and I sit there and meditate for eight days. No food or water enters my body. I sit and I let the color within my brain formulate the piece. And then I enter my studio. I get my first block of clay and I stare at it for another four days. Water I have during those four days, no food. And then I began. This piece here took me about eight years. Wow, that's amazing. You starve yourself every time you begin a piece. It lets me connect with it much more. <laughs> 